Hello my friends, it's been a quite a while since I made a tutorial. So today we'll learn cloth simulation. So before I start the tutorial, I just want to show what and all it is required to create this cloth simulation. And as you can see, there's not a lot of stuff going on. So if you're a beginner, it will be very easy for you to follow along this tutorial. And this this is a really cool effect and i'm pretty sure if you use this on your youtube banner or any purpose of your of your needs it will look very very good and in this tutorial i'm using the apple logo because i'm a apple kind of guy and you can use it use the text also if you need so without wasting any time let's just get, get into the tutorial so i'll just open the new file Okay, now what we'll do is that we'll delete the cube and add a plane. And before I add the plane, I'll just make sure that my, okay. Okay, we'll add a plane and we'll rotate this in Y axis in 90 degrees. And we'll just scale this up. And I just want to split the screen in half so that I have the rendered view on the right and I can do my work on the left. So I'll just uh, turn on the go to render mode and add a camera and I'll just go to view over here. Where is that? Okay. Okay. It's over here. I'll go just go to view, align view and align active camera to view over here so that it gets aligned to my viewport and I'll go to again. I'll go to view and on the navigation. I'll just press walk navigation so that you can use your WASD keys and mouse to move your camera just like in the games. So I'll just uh, place the camera death center like that. And I'll just make the camera vertical. So after doing that, I'll just add a light. I'll add a area light and move this all the way up and rotate this in Y axis slightly like so and I'll adjust the power and the area of the light and let's go to uh, render and set to render engine to cycles and now we have uh, you know achieved the render thing now let's create the cloth simulation so to create this cloth simulation, I want you to select the cloth, I mean the plane itself and go to physics properties and turn on cloth. And now over here, we'll set the quality steps to 10 and the A viscosity to 0.65. And I think I will set the speed multiplier to 0.5 also. And we'll turn on the stiffness to 0.5 because we don't want cloth to be stiff and we'll turn off the damping all the way down because we don't want any friction or you know damping kind of thing and we'll set the bending to 0.1 same here as in the stiffness and uh, we'll turn on co collisions self collisions and we'll set the distance to 0.003 and over here also we'll set the distance point 0 t and if you press play a clock is just gonna fall down so we don't want that okay so we don't want our cloth to be to fall down so we'll just uh, expand the field weights and turn off the gravity so when you hit play it does not fall down and uh, i think i'll just move the light a little bit up yeah that's more like it and now our cloth is ready and we need an external object to interact with it with it so what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to import a, a svg model or you can use the text for this tutorial i'll use the text because some most of the people is, are gonna use the text so i'm just gonna add a text so shift a text where's the text okay over here and if, as you can see here is our text and you can go to edit mode and edit the text so i'll just uh, type blender in because 
okay my blender just crashed unexpectedly so i think i was in the uh, text part so we'll add a text over here and uh, before the blender crashes again i'll just save it and i'll set it to c that good and okay to edit the text uh, you have to go to edit mode and you can just uh, add any text you want so i'll just type blender in because that's my youtube channel name and yeah okay i set my uh, you know text to blender in so i'm just going to scale this down and place this parallel to the plane so i'm just rotate i'm just gonna rotate here in x-axis 90 degrees and z-axis 90 degrees so that is parallel to the plane or is facing the plane and let's just uh, scale this up so that it is kind of visible like that i think it's visible and since it is a you know vector form we'll go to data and under geometry uh, we'll uh, set the extrude to 0 0.001 so that it becomes a little bit thick I think you, would, you couldn't see that let me just show you again so this is our text so yeah when it's in zero it is completely flat it doesn't have a thickness at all so what we'll do is that we'll extrude it a little amount so let me keep it to 005 now you can see it has some thickness so now what we're gonna do is that I think it needs to be a little thick uh, I'll just do I'll just set it to 0 0.01 okay so now what we'll do is that we'll add a collision we'll go to physics and add a collision and as you can see there's no co collision type in the physics property that's because it's still in vector form to convert to uh, you know mesh we'll just uh, right click on the, the you know text and uh, convert to mesh now you can see collision appears i will just tap on the collision so that it uh, enables it and you will set the thickness to 0 0.05 0, 005 so that it becomes a real thing uh, it's not physically but uh, since cloth simulation is a simulation over there thickness is kind of a simulation matters simulation thing so yeah so now we'll just uh, bake this thing uh, before we bake this we'll just animate the logo itself so what we're gonna do is that uh, we're gonna press i on our keyboard and press l so that it uh, plays a location keyframe and we'll just go to frame 80 or 100 i'll just go to 80 and we'll move this in x-axis quite a bit so that it goes past through the plane like so I will add a location keyframe here also and set the end to 80. So now when you play our text kind of goes like this and as it is going you can see it's pushing the plane back and this is how the claw simulation works and it's not looking like a cloth because it does not have a you know enough subdivisions and it's look it's acting like a one big plane slate like thing so to make it really flexible like cloth we'll just add a number of subdivisions so i'm going to add i think 50 subdivisions yeah 50 look good looks good and we'll play and this happens although we are not getting all the wrinkles we saw that early on we're still able to you know punch a hole in that plane and to get the wrinkles what we're gonna do is that we're gonna select the blender in icon and add a force field called force and we'll set the strength to negative maybe 25 -ish. and uh, move the force field like so the exact proper you know position of our text and we'll parent the force to the you know 
text so select the force field and then select the blender in icon and press ctrl p and parent it and make sure that blender in is highlighted in light orange and the force field is highlighted in dark orange so now when you play a force field moves with the blender in icon so now get kind of you know wrinkly kind of effect and as you can see there are a lot of uh, you know it's not uh, you know smooth kind of thing uh, smooth i mean yeah it's not smooth it's pixelated so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna select the plane and go to modifiers add a modifier called subdivision surface over here and set it to two maybe i think two looks good and we'll right right click on the plane and set this to shade smooth so that it looks smooth and even it look if if it is even pixelated then you can just subdivide it once more but in my case this looks rather smooth so i'm just going to leave like leave it like this and now you can see we got a first problem that is that a blender in logo is not visible at all and i don't know why that is but we'll figure it out and I'll just try to scale this in x-axis so that it's become a little bit thick because you know that's to do something with that and we'll press ctrl a and apply scale and let's just uh, reduce the size of the force field a little bit so yeah that would be good and ctrl a scale now let's play okay now you can see our blender in logo is not going through the plane itself and it's rather staying in this little cocoon kind of thing and uh, and in render view it's not kind of visible so we'll just bring the light little bit back so that it becomes visible i think that's good so in this world tab we'll just like set the strength to zero and we'll just give the cool brushed metal effect for this blender in icon and to add a materials i use this add-on called blender in not blender in sorry <laughs> blender kit and you can find that on you know gumroad or blender market i don't know i forgot where i downloaded it from but you can get it online for free and i have that add-on installed over here and uh, what's cool is, is that you can just go into textures tab material tab and you can just type brushed metal and you get this various uh, you know variations of metals for this tutorial i'm just going to select this it has added the material but the shadow is too thick so we are not able to see the you know logo itself so what we can do is that you can select the light and you can go to you know transfer pivot point and set it to 3 and we're gonna duplicate this light so shift d and we'll rotate this in y-axis and because the pivot point is in uh, you know the 3d cursor this happens and we'll place the light where our logo is evenly lit and is visible so this is my thing and we'll just reduce the power okay i think this looks good maybe i'll set it to 750 yeah this looks good and for our material you know cloth material i'll just go and type over here velvet and over here there's a blue velvet texture so i'm just going to add that blue texture okay to avoid this problem what we can do is that we can go to cloth you know cloth simulation and under cache you can just bake it so we're just using 80 frames so we'll set the end to 80 and we'll bake it so that it doesn't change afterwards okay so baking is good so when you press play our text will be like this 
so yeah kind of yeah so will i the velvet texture yes and we get something like that and this looks fantastic and if you think this is fantastic then please subscribe to my channel that will be a great appreciation for me and i think that's it for this tutorial and uh, please like this video and uh, also please subscribe and maybe i'll just upload this cool tutorials in the future i don't know but i'll be uploading every week one one video so please subscribe thank you for watching guys